<laughs> hey, this is Jimmy. Who's this? Jimmy, this is Vince Vaughn. How are you, baby? Yay, Double V. <laughs> What's on your mind, baby? You feel like talking politics? Absolutely not, controversial internet figure Jimmy Dore. <laughs> I value our friendship too much and decided that since every time we talk politics, I get physically disgusted by what a lefty chode you are, <laughs> that moving forward, this will be a politics-free zone. Well, that might be a problem considering what the Jimmy Dore show is all about. You know what? I hear that. Loud and clear, I hear that. <laughs> That's why I'm not coming to you empty-handed. There is something else we could talk about. Tinseltown, baby. What? You know you love it, bitch. <laughs> Hollywood, the lights, the stars, the hits, the flops, the bottoms, and the tops. <laughs> I got it all right here, baby. <laughs> so without further ado, it's Vince Vaughn's Hollywood Minute. Oh, wait a minute, Vince. <laughs> I think that name might already be taken. Okay, then how about this? Vince Vaughn's Tinseltown Show Pinions. <laughs> okay, that'll... All right, let her rip, Vince. Jimmy, this week the long-awaited Avatar 2 The Way of Water splashed out in theaters. Are you going to see it, Jimmy? No. Oh my goodness, why not? Critics are calling it a sumptuous feast for the senses. <laughs> and hopefully we'll answer some of the burning unanswered questions from the first Avatar. Such as? Who actually fucking saw the first Avatar? <laughs> it was one of the highest grossing movies of all time, but I didn't see it. You didn't see it. Literally no one I know saw it. How's that even possible? And I don't even know anything about it. All I know is it looked like if the Blue Man Group were trust fund kids and moved to Bali. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even name one character, can you? No, not nope. Me neither. <laughs> I've never seen Star Wars, but I know who fucking Darth Vader is. That's right. With this horse, and I can't even name one guy. Not, not one. one. Anyway, moving on. Speaking of water, <laughs> the whale is also making a splash <laughs> on the big screen. The whale? The Whale, Jimmy, directed by Darren Aronofsky. Brendan Fraser plays a reclusive 600-pound man struggling with morbid <laughs> obesity. Despite Fraser's sympathetic portrayal, the film is being blasted, blasted, Jimmy, as fat phobic. Perhaps, and I'm just spitballing here because the movie is titled The Fucking Whale. <laughs> right. But furthermore, fat rights activists argue that such a character should not be portrayed by a normal-sized person in prosthetics, <laughs> but rather by an actual 600-pound actor. Which, as you know, the A-list is teeming with. <laughs> I can't go to a party in the Hollywood Hills these days without getting awkwardly wedged between a couple of morbidly obese superstars holding three Oscars each. I just can't. I, I see your point. I mean, come on, man. Let's get real. If a script calls for an ugly person, Hollywood won't even cast an actual ugly person. I know. They have to get Christian Bale or Jared <laughs> Leto and fuglify them. <laughs> yep. They aren't. There aren't ugly actors. There just aren't. In order to have the confidence and complete lack of conscience to make it in this industry, you have to be super good looking. I've always said it. Moving on. Okay, Vince, what else you got? I'll tell you what else, my man. Netflix is highly anticipated. Harry and Meghan. <laughs> the Harry and Meghan produced documentary series about how the bad about the bad things that happened to Harry and Meghan. <laughs> is making quite a splash. <laughs> a lot of splashing going on, baby. And as someone who has not watched one second of this show, I can highly recommend it to people who like to get mad about shit that has nothing to do with them, <laughs> body language experts, and everyone's mom. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. Oh, Jimmy, it is. What they did to that poor woman over there. Two brothers having a silent riff, and the queen is kind of cold. All these twists and turns, it is just the talk of the town on both sides of the pond. I, I really don't understand this interest in the royal family. Uh, Jimmy, honestly, I think it's because we can all see a little bit of ourselves in them and their struggles. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, it's because people have no lives. Who are we kidding? <laughs> okay. Okay, well, there it is. My show opinions about things that I've never seen and never will 
but know about. Well, great, Vince. We really, really appreciate it. My pleasure, Jimmy Dore. You know what I think we should do now? What's that, pal? I think we should both pour one out to Rip Torn. Yeah. A classic, an absolute legend, and still missed. Later, baby. Great idea. Thanks, Vince. <laughs> Hey, we're doing live stand-up comedy in Los Angeles, December 9th, 16th, 23rd, and 30th. And we're going to be in Tempe, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, Nashville. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for all those tickets. See you there.